The sparrow's not worried about tomorrow or the troubles to come. The lily's not thinking about the seasons, the drought or the flood. The tree that's planted by the water isn't phased by the fire. So why should I be? Cause you take good care of me. Good morning, church. I hope you're having a blessed day today. Today is daily teaching number 500. It's just such an honor and a pleasure to be here with you sharing the word of God. And it's just, it's it's amazing to think back 500 daily teachings ago. And that, just for reference sake, that is our numbered daily teachings because We also have a lot of special teachings and other things that we've done in between. So we have taught actually over 500 times daily. And actually, just to remind everybody, in case you weren't here from the beginning, we actually did daily teachings on our Instagram. We used to do about five to six minutes every day on Instagram before the Lord made a transition in the ministry to where we went to daily teachings on our YouTube channel. So I'm going to talk about all of that today. Today is what we call a ministry update because of this landmark milestone in the ministry that we're finally at 500, which is, it is profound. It is amazing. It is all for the glory of God that he is allowing us to do what we do. It is just such a pleasure and an honor to be with you. And because of this special day, I want to take some time today to go through some updates on what's going on in the ministry, where we're at, what we're doing, because there's been a lot of changes recently. Uh, If you haven't seen them already, you will see them. If you go onto our website, if you see what we're doing on our social media, Uh, we've been making some changes over the past couple of weeks, and I want to actually go through what those changes are, what we're doing, and what we're going to be doing moving forward. Blank Slate Ministry, since we have started a little over two years ago, has went through, I believe, three major ministry changes. And I'm going to talk about those right now so that you can understand what we have done in the ministry and where we are going moving forward. Because every time we make a change, the change is actually to take us deeper into the will of God. Um, You know, when we started this ministry, we didn't have any help. We didn't have anybody helping, you know, guide us on what to do, how to do it. We were just listening to the voice of God and we were believing for excellence and we were believing for doing things according to the will of God in the best possible way. And we began to grow and we began to learn and we began to do things better and better as we went along. And it's just been such an honor to be able to do this with the Lord and with you all. And every time we make a change, we go deeper in God, and it's just been amazing. So let's talk about a couple of things dealing with the ministry. We're going to talk about our social media, number one. Number two, we're going to talk about our daily teachings. Three, we're going to talk about our discipleship classes. Four, we're going to talk about partnership. And then number five, we're going to talk about where we are at when it comes to missions. So we have five main ministry updates that we want to go through today. I set this day apart specifically for this purpose. As we are at a milestone, I'm going to officially transition us in this process so that you have all of the updates on what we are doing moving forward. So number one, ministry update number one. If you have not already seen, we did this about two weeks ago. We are officially Blank Slate Ministries. And we've always been Blank Slate Ministries. That has always been the ministry. We are registered 501c3. We are out of Chicago, Illinois. That is where our ministry is incorporated out of. That is where our nonprofit status in America is, is out of Chicago. But because we are currently in Brazil, and because of some of the things the Lord is doing in this church, which we'll talk about at the end, 
we may not go back to Chicago. We actually, when we return to America, we may be going to a different place. And from some of the prophetic words being spoken, some of the things the Lord is revealing to my heart, it does not look like we will end up back in Chicago again. It looks like we'll be going somewhere else. That I don't know yet, but we know that that transition will come when we come back to America. I'll talk about that at the end. But for now, what we've done is we have removed Chicago from off of our social media and off of our website. Now we are still incorporated out of Chicago currently until we return to America. When we come back to America from Brazil, wherever God takes us, whichever state, wherever we go, then we will move all of our incorporation and nonprofit status to whichever state God returns us to. But for now, we're gonna are still incorporated out of Chicago, but Chicago has been removed from all of our platforms. Our new social media tag is Blank Slate Ministries. So it used to be Blank Slate Chicago, but we also noticed here in Brazil because it's just easier for people to look up Blank Slate Ministries. So we removed dot Chicago from off of our platforms. It's just blank slate ministries. The only one that is different is our Facebook, which is blank slate ministries international. We removed the Chicago off of all of our platforms and we replaced it with international because we are technically an international ministry. We're in America. We're in Brazil right now and we're doing ministry with people in Africa and in India. I know a lot of people don't. You don't know about a lot of the things that we do behind the scenes, but I have some good pastor friends of mine in India that I've been working alongside of for over a year now. I've been doing ministry with them, teaching, helping, praying. We've been ministering together. There's been a lot of amazing things going on in India, and they've been praying for us. We've been praying for them, and eventually we will go there and minister in their churches also. So we have a lot of things going on internationally. So we are an international ministry. We're not just a ministry located out of Chicago anymore. And so all of our platforms, it's Blank Slate Ministries, Facebook, it's Blank Slate Ministries International. So we made that big change on all of our social media platforms. I just wanna make sure you have that, you're aware of that, that is a big update, that was a big change. This is the only time since we started the ministry that we have changed our social media platforms at all. It's the very first time we've done it, but it was under the direction of God, especially because of what's going on now and then what we will be doing when we return to America. So that's number one, all of our social media blank slate ministries. It'll make it easier to share and all of those things when it comes to sharing it with other people, which is just an amazing thing. Number two, our daily teachings. At the beginning of the ministry, when I started in Chicago, we were doing daily teachings on our Instagram platform. And we were doing that about five to six minutes every single day. And I would read a verse out of the Bible or two verses out of the Bible. And I would give a little teaching on the word of God every day, because I believe that people need the word of God daily. And so that's where we started is on our Instagram platform. Now we made this transition in August July or August, I'd have to go back and look at the exact date, end of July, beginning of August in 2022. Yeah, 2022, I had to count back the days. We've been doing this a long time. And we made a transition and we started doing our daily teachings on YouTube. And they were, they started out at about 25 minutes. And then we made some adjustments and we went to 30 minutes. And the way we did these adjustments, sometimes we would edit the intro video. Sometimes we would do longer sermons. And we just kind of mixed it up, but we got it to about 30 minutes on the dot. And then we transitioned and we came to Brazil, which we'll talk about in a minute. And we still do our daily teachings, just the time is a little different. Sometimes it's 25 minutes, sometimes 22, sometimes 28. And what we've decided is we're just going to roll with it. And we're going to continue to do our daily teachings. So our daily teachings every day, Monday through Saturday at 9 a.m. And these daily teachings are anywhere from about 23 to 28 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. So anywhere around that 20 to 30 minute range, we're doing a daily teaching every single day. Those are going to continue. The What we call the bread and butter of our ministry, the foundation bedrock of what Blank Slate Ministries really is, 
is the daily teachings. Those are the main things that we do. It is one of the primary objectives of God in our life and in this ministry is to teach the word of God. We are an international ministry, but we are a teaching ministry first. That is the main thing that we do. Now, our daily teachings have made many transitions. We started in faith. We transitioned to fullness of God. We went to purpose. And then last year, we made a big shift into end time prophecy. We're in 170 parts right now in our series on end time prophecy. And that, that's a big deal. And we are going to continue. We are we have, I think, two or three more Psalms left to go in end time prophecy before we transition to the major and minor prophets of the Old Testament when it comes to that series. That series will probably take at least until the end of the year, maybe until next year to be able to finish. But we are going to finish the series on end time prophecy. Now, every once in a while, we may take a break for a day or two. You know to teach like we taught partnership when the lord moved on that we'll talk about that in a minute you know if we have a daily teaching like this we'll put end time prophecy on pause but generally end time prophecy will be the main theme of this ministry until we at least have finished all of the chapters in the bible that are eschatological or at least mostly eschatological and so we're going to eschatological dealing with the end times that's very simple it's a big word but it's very simple We've been going through that series a lot, and if you haven't been following along with us, you need to. We went through all of the New Testament chapters. We're in the Old Testament right now. And if you just start from the beginning, you'll really get a grasp on where we're at. Some of these we teach multiple days. Some of them only have a day. But the general themes of understanding the generation in which the Lord returns is vitally important. You know, and you just if you just go back and watch the first three weeks of that series, you'll understand how important it really is. The Lord placed it on my heart. He said we're going to teach it. And that's what we've been doing since then. So our daily teachings will continue Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. on our YouTube channel. We're going to stay in the series on end time prophecy until we finish. And then we will progress forward into new subjects. So I just encourage you to follow that. That is like I said, the bedrock of our ministry, that will not change. Daily teachings will always continue as they have from the beginning. Now, third, ministry update. So number one, social media platforms changed. Blank Slate Ministries, Facebook, Blank Slate Ministries International. And we're gonna, we continue to post. I'll, I'll talk more about that in just a moment. And then daily teachings are still Monday through Saturday at 9 a.m. Third ministry update is discipleship curriculums. When we started the ministry, one of the first things the Lord placed on my heart is to disciple people. We are supposed to disciple all nations. We're supposed to make disciples. And the way to make disciples is we're going to have to teach specific things in the word of God. And the Lord created this progression in our ministry for level one bedrock foundations, level two advanced curriculums, and then level three, which is all about church planning, church leadership, church growth, missions. That's like the fullness of like full-time ministry. So three levels in the tiers. And what we've been doing since then is writing curriculums. And we wrote our BSM Disciple, Advanced, End Times Part 1, End Times Part 2, Divine Purpose, and our marriage curriculum. Six curriculums so far. We're in the process of writing our third curriculum which is called build a house which is a level three church planting church leadership curriculum for church growth but what i want to say about this is when we started the ministry we did not do discipleship every week because we were still writing the curriculums we were still preparing still praying about how god wanted us to teach these things and then in the fall of 2022 we started our level one class on monday nights in the spring of 2023, we started teaching Tuesdays and Thursday nights on level two classes. In all of 2023, we were rotating the curriculums and we were teaching through all of them. And we've taught most of these curriculums multiple times. And going into where we are right now, we just made a drastic shift in our discipleship programs and the way we disciple people. And I wanna explain what we're doing so that you understand what we are going to do moving forward. We are no longer teaching our discipleship curriculums 
Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday night. We have stopped teaching them on a regular three-day basis every single week. This is what we're doing instead. I believe this is the will of God, and I believe this is actually in wisdom to make it a little bit easier on the way so we can teach more discipleship curriculums. The way we've been doing it now, it takes a lot of time to be able to teach through them and then to post them, to edit them, and to all of those things. What we are going to do is when we release a discipleship curriculum, we are going to release all of the teachings at the exact same time. So the curriculum and all of the teachings come out at the same time, and then you can take the curriculum at your own pace. And what we're going to do is because we have the curriculum and all of its teachings released, that way we don't have to teach on a weekly basis. And then that frees up time so I can write more curriculums and I can teach more discipleship. So people may ask, and this is a question that's been proposed, if I stop teaching Monday, Tuesday, Thursday nights, are we going to stop discipleship? No, we are still, you know, we're going to still uh, print discipleship curriculums. You can still purchase them. The video links are still on the website. You can still watch them. But instead of teaching it little by little, which means you have to wait every week to receive a new teaching, we're going to release the curriculum and all of the teachings at the exact same time. All of the curriculums that are currently on our website, they have teachings. They have two and three teachings for each of those curriculums because we've taught all of those curriculums multiple times. So if you buy, let's say, a, a discipleship curriculum, there are three different ones that you can go and listen to because we've taught it multiple times. And moving forward, all of the curriculums that we write will have one round of teaching in it. But this is wisdom. And I really prayed about this a lot with the Lord because of something else I'm going to share in a minute about what's going on in Brazil. But also because we're going to be doing a lot of more missions internationally and we're preaching in a lot of places, I told the Lord I needed time to be able to write more curriculum so I can teach you more subjects, you know, because our daily teachings are set aside and we're in a series, but we still need to learn about church growth. We still need to learn about seed time harvest. We still need, there are still many other subjects in the Bible that we need to teach. And because we are a teaching ministry, we need that time to be able to write the curriculums and then to release all of the teachings. And that's what I was speaking to the Lord about. And the Lord said, just start doing those in the time in which we would have been teaching our curriculum. So all that to say, we're making a big change, but there's no longer discipleship curriculums during the week at night. The discipleship curriculums are available for purchase on our website. The discipleship tab is still on the website. You can buy the curriculum and then all of the teachings will be there immediately. So if you buy a curriculum, boom, there are all of the teachings, all of the answers, all of the additional resources. And as the Lord speaks to me, I'll still edit things and add things to the website so you have even more information. But we're going to release curriculums and teachings at the exact same time here moving forward. That way, whenever you buy a curriculum, you can take the class at your own pace and you do not have to follow every single week. And that's gonna be a big change, but that's gonna allow us to write more curriculums and to teach more curriculums. It's gonna actually allow us to do a lot more than we have been doing already. So that's a big change. That is probably the number one change we're going through right now. But I just wanna make sure that you're aware of that. If you don't see the, you're not gonna see the teachings three days a week anymore. But when we release a curriculum, we'll release, you know, eight, nine, 10, 12, 12 teachings at one time. So that way you can watch all of them at your own pace. So we're going to, we got a big change coming, but we are going to try to release at least four curriculums this year. That's, that's what the plan is. I'm in the middle of writing one right now, but I needed that time to be able to write so I can teach you as much as I can. So some big changes, but be on the lookout because we're going to be releasing new curriculums all year long. So just be looking out for those as we continue to write and release curriculums. They're all electronic. You just buy them on the website. You can download them right to your phone, your iPad, your computer, and then you can go ahead and take the class. Now, fourth ministry update. We are now having partnership available. And if you're not already partnered with a ministry, I am telling you today, you need to go online and partner with us today. 
There's two ways you can partner with us. You can partner with us in a ministry context. If you are called to full-time ministry, then you can partner with us in that way. Maybe you are a translator and you're here in Brazil. Maybe you want to plant a church and you want us to help you plant. There's so many ways to partner with us ministerially. And the way you need to do that is you need to hear your purpose from God. And if you know what your purpose is, tell us what your purpose is. We will be more than happy to work with you and we will help you in a ministry context. That is ministry partnership now available through Blank Slate Ministries. Also, we have financial partnership now available. You know, we've always had a giving option available, but this is actually true partnership. And what we mean by that is partnership is a monthly basis donation, meaning that you're giving on a monthly reoccurring regular basis. Now, you may partner at $100 a month, and then you may say, hey, I want to give you another thousand today. You can always give more. But the partnership is that one time a month commitment that I will always give this amount. And I'm going to do this on a monthly basis to advance the gospel. Partnership is not just about what you receive from this ministry and what you get from us. Partnership is about how you help and support for the advancement of the gospel to all nations, especially because we are currently and we will continue for here moving forward to be an international ministry. As you help support, you are helping advance the gospel to all of the nations and to the world. And that is a big thing in the word of God. I can't teach on it right now because we just don't have time. But if you read in the book of Philippians and the book of Corinthians and all these places, it's through partnership and the way in which you give financially that helps to advance the gospel to all the world. Now, you can give on a monthly reoccurring basis financially, which I encourage you to do with us. We've had some partners with us for almost, I think, actually over two years now, which is amazing. We've had people who have been partnered with us for a long time. I want to say thank you to all of our partners. It is just such a pleasure to have you with us. Also, you can give in what we call substance. Maybe you say, hey, I can't, I don't have the cash. You know, I don't have money, but I can give sound equipment. I can give, I have a house that I would like to give you. Maybe you have a church property and you would like to give that property. You are also able now to give in substance. Just fill out the form on whatever you would like to give, and then I will contact you personally, and we will go through the process of allowing you to give. We will receive whichever way you would like to give. The Lord placed this on my heart that I had not given the opportunity to you to be able to give in this way, and so I had to repent to the Lord, and then I made this available. Because there are some of you that are that have been blessed by God and that would like to give in a in a in a uh, in a substance way. Maybe you say, "Hey, I got this house and a church, and it's not being used. I would like to give it to you for you to be able to pastor out of this place." We will be more than happy to receive that. And I just want to give that option now available because there are people that their calling in the body of Christ is a giver. That's what they are called by God to do. They have been financially blessed and they want to give in these big ways. And I want to be able to allow you to give in that way and to be able to receive. If you are in America, like I said before, we are a registered 501c3 nonprofit. That information is on our website also. But because we are a 501c3, you do get tax benefits and tax write-offs if you do give both one financially, but two in substance. So if you do give property, houses, cars, churches, whatever it may be, you will get a tax write-off on all of that. So I just wanna make sure you know that. We have that question asked to us uh, quite a bit, actually, because they say, are, are you a church? And yes, we, we became a registered corporation in America in 2022. We received our 501c3 nonprofit status at the end of 2022. So we are a registered 501c3. You do get all of your tax breaks and tax benefits when you give any way into this ministry. And that, that form goes out at the end of the year. So that way you can get your write off, which is amazing. And we just want to make sure that's available. Personally, it doesn't matter to me whether we're 501c3 or not, but we did that to make sure that you get the benefits, not only in the kingdom of God by sowing and reaping, but you also get the natural benefit of it 
when it comes to your taxes. Fifth ministry update, final update, and then we're going to finish for today. We are still in Brazil. We are in Anani Deiwa, Brazil. That's where I live. We're right outside of Belém, and we are doing a lot of ministry here in Belém. Currently, over the past couple of weeks, I have preached a three-day conference. I've preached at multiple different churches, both on Thursday night, on Monday night, on Saturday night, on Sunday night. We preached at a retreat recently. We have preached in so many different places, and it has just been amazing the things God we've seen God do. We have seen power and miracles and the fire of God. We've seen people healed. We've seen people delivered. Here in the voice of God, we have seen incredible miracles here in Brazil. We are currently in the process of teaching the book of the Revelation here in Brazil. So until that is finished, we are not leaving Brazil. No matter what, until that curriculum is or until that class is finished. Other than that, I do not know how long we will be here in Brazil. We are going to be here as long as the Lord wants us to. We're starting to travel in Brazil also. At first, we were mainly just doing work around the Anani Dewa, Sadaji Nova, Belém area. But this yesterday, actually, we were in Americano at a big church teaching. We're traveling all around Belém right now, and we're going to start traveling around Brazil this year. We're going to probably go to Amazonia. We're probably going to go to the south of Brazil. We're going to go to a lot of places and just we're going to go as the Lord leads us. Uh, whenever the Lord says we're finished, we will probably come back to America. We might go to other places in the world. I don't know. And I all I encourage you to do, one, partner with us in support of the ministry. And I thank God for all of our partners. But number two is I want you to continue to pray for us. Because we're doing so many different things here in Brazil. We're going to different places. We're seeing different things. We're pastoring in churches with 20 people and churches with thousands of people. And we're seeing the Lord move every single time. So just continue to pray for us as we minister here in Brazil. It was such an honor for the Lord to bring me here in the first place. And we are doing, we're seeing so many things. I could give testimonies for hours about the miracles and the power and the things that we're seeing God do. And it's just amazing to see it. And I'm just so blessed to be able to be here. So we're going to stay in Brazil until the Lord tells us to leave. And there's still a lot of work here to do in Brazil. So we're going to be here for a while. Um, but we're just going to continue to do the work of God. If you are in America and you would like to travel to Brazil and come do some missions with us, maybe you want to take a week and just come do a missions trip with us. I'll be more than happy to help you while you're here. You know, if you can get here to Brazil, I will allow you to do missions with us. And we're going to just see the glory of God here in Brazil. The revival is beginning. We're starting to see people really get on fire and just do the work of God. So that's our big ministry updates. I pray you enjoyed today. I just wanted to share some things that were going on. But church, I love you. I pray God blesses you. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like drop us a comment share this with your friends and church i love you we'll start back tomorrow back in our series on end time prophecy but god bless you have a great day and we will see you tomorrow the sparrow's not worried about tomorrow or the troubles to come the lily's not thinking about the seasons the drought or the flood the tree that's planted by the Cause you take good care of me You take good care of me And you know what I need Before I even ask the thing And you hold me in your hands With the kindness that never ends I'm carried in your love No matter what the future brings The sun's not working.